In today's video, we're gonna take a look at what you can do once you've lost the ECU. This can be the case, let's say, when you have sent it away to some place to have it cloned or whatever, or I don't know, maybe it got stolen. And the only thing you're really gonna need for this is basically a picture of a sticker on the ECU itself. Like on the underside, there's a sticker with the part number and the serial number. And what we're gonna need is the serial number. And additionally to that, the VIN number, but this one you can find in your papers and also in your uh, VIN screen. So anyways, we're gonna open up the TISTO web website and you're gonna enter the VIN number in here. Then you're gonna click on Get Cal ID. Then you're gonna select ECM, click on Next, Programming, Next, and then ask for the part number. It totally doesn't matter, so you can basically take the latest one, click on Next, Next again and then you end up on this page. And the information we need is basically only the part number. And maybe some of you have seen my previous videos where I've explained how to update a base file or let's say your, your firmware on your vehicle. And this is pretty much the same procedure. So what we're also gonna need now are the so-called GBF files. And I have linked them in my previous video, but I'm also gonna link them again in the description down below. And we are going to open this archive. So I have the archive open now. And as you can see, you have like all these numbers in front. And they basically represent the part number shown on the left. And this is our GBF file. Now, the thing is, this is just a GBF file. It's, it's not like a real binary, which you can flash onto an ECU and it's going to work. But we can use this to create the correct base file needed for our vehicle. So. Additionally to this, you're also going to need the so-called T8 extras, which contain all the base files for the vehicles. And actually, if you sort of know which file has been on the car, you can go and look in here for the corresponding base file. And as you can see, like this, this string like FA5B, you also want to look for FA5B. And the underscore C, okay, we got that. And then FME4, okay, we got 40, 74 and so on. But then again, let's look at the end, 81B, and this is the only 81B file we have starting with this like uh, correct, you know, string. So this is most likely a previous version of this file. But hey, let's say you don't really know which file it was, like how am I supposed to remember it? Maybe it was this one, maybe it was this one even, you know, who, who knows? It's, it's impossible. But the answer to this, it doesn't really matter too much. So let's say we're going to be a bit crazy and we're just going to be like, hey, we're going to take, you know, 83E, which has nothing to do with our car at all, but hey, anyways. And now we're going to copy this thing and then we're going to open it. So I now have created this like work folder where you can see, you know, I have like a GBF file in here which is the correct number, and this totally random base file, basically. And next up, we're going to open the T8 suit. And we're going to open this completely random file, which we have no idea where it's coming from. We don't know what it means. But yeah, we're just going to use this. And um, what we do next is to click on File, create binary from this file, and then we can select the base file we want to use to update basically. So we're going to select our random file again. Then we're going to select the GBF file, which we got from the uh, archive. And now we enter like the new file name and we're going to call, call it clean file, just like that. New file created. Now we open the new file. And you're going to see in the file information that this thing is correct. Now, obviously, you know, the previous file, it was actually for an Opel or, let's say, Vauxhall. So we got, like, the engine type a VIN number, which doesn't make any sense. But, you know, it shows that, basically, it really doesn't matter which file you choose to update, as long as you just have a file. But now the thing is, what am I going to do with the serial number and the chassis ID? You know, I, I want to change that because it doesn't match my car. So how can I do it? I mean, it's grayed out. And... The way to do it is a bit tricky, but you know, you don't want to click in here. I mean, it's not possible anyways. 
but you want to click on serial number like two times and then it's going to warn you hey the ATC only has like experimental support for changing win and immobilizer codes but we're just going to click on ok and now you continue to enter your information in here and pretty much once you've done that you can just click ok and it's completed